So you know, like, when you have an idea and you think it'll never make it to, to fruition or I, I, it'll take much longer beyond my time to see it happen. Um, the, the nice thing about the being here for, for the graduation for our apprentice course uh, is it, it builds upon the culmination of all the work that our instructors, our, our curriculum designers, our training managers, training development managers, that have all had this labor of love poured into the plan that we crafted. Uh, there really wasn't a napkin because you talk about, you know, we, we drew this out on a napkin, right? Uh, we, we came together in April of 2022 to do our specialty training and requirements team. And so that's often a meeting that, that happens about every two years. And we said, all right, let's look at where our training plan is right now. Is it, is it meeting the mark is it when, our, when our most senior leaders are saying, are you ready for great power competition? Are you ready for, for what our nation needs you to be ready for, uh, to best come alongside our airmen, guardians, and families and care for them and fortify their readiness? Or how are we doing? Uh, and so at the same time that we're receiving some of those questions, uh, our Air Education and, and Training Command and Air University, they're looking at how to better educate and teach our, our learners. And, and so we, we had this transition with competency learning as well. So moving from, from tasks to behaviors that we would want to see. And so all of that was happening at that specialty training and requirements team meeting, which we call affectionately the STRT, because we got to acronym everything out, right? And so uh, in that meeting, we, we crafted the design. We drew on the napkin. This is, in an ideal world, this is what we would teach uh, our religious affairs airmen. So we drew out on the napkin, which is actually looking at our career field education and training plan and saying, what have we been teaching and, and what do we need to be teaching? And we didn't just look at the apprentice course. We chart that all the way through from the three, the five, the seven, and the nine levels of, of training. Uh, and we said, this is, this is what we would like in an ideal world. And so when we leave from the STRT, what happens is our teammates here at Keesler and Second Air Force, they, they look through it and they say, this is what it will cost to provide this level of training. And they call that a cost resource estimate. Uh, and they say, given all the training that you say that you need to get an apprentice uh, fully ready, worldwide qualified, uh, that will take adding two more weeks onto your six week course. And so that's how we got to six weeks to eight weeks. Uh, what's unique about this course that just graduated today uh, is that it's the first one out of, out of the gate for the fiscal year, and it's the first one that we've had in I don't know how long that's overlapped winter exodus. And so that was an additional challenge for our instructor teams to face is like, not only are we adding extra weeks, we now have to uh, realize and recognize how to, how to care for those airmen that are non prior service coming straight from basic training to get home to their families, get back, track them. Uh, what are we going to do with our guard and reserve uh, airmen that are here? Are they going to stay here? Are they going to go on leave? And so when you think about all of the things that we levy upon this, this instructor team to, to manage to get to today, to graduating, it, it is momentous. And, and really, uh, if if the team hears nothing else, I just want to say thank you uh, so much for what our instructors do, for what this community of educators do to send out the very best uh, that they can. Uh, we, we know that this is an iteration. We know this is the first of, of many to get to validation and, and to get to what we would call uh, the excellence that, that we would want. Um, but it's, it's just so exciting, right, to go from, from the napkin to the designing and, and bringing in, we, we leveraged technical experts and, and SMEs uh, and individuals that had been vectored to a teaching position to come in and facilitate and do some sprints uh, for curriculum design as well. So, so while we, we, we have the instructor team here jobbing in day in and day out, um, we also have this buy-in from, from our community at large saying, hey, I, I had a hand in helping craft some of that material. Uh, I'm excited about 
uh, what is going on there at, at Tech School. Uh, and so I think we all have a vested interest in the future of the Chaplain Corps in that way. Uh, and, it, and just kind of another unique way to leverage our, our vectored list because not every airman is at a place where they can PCS uh, or for, maybe they just moved somewhere or they're on a joint spouse or but this was an opportunity to bring them in pull their expertise in and say uh, hey I'm, I'm interested in teaching one day or I would like uh, to, to see what that's about and, and maybe um, do it in a shorter batch uh, and, and some of them actually got to be a part of that curriculum sprint and then matched to an assignment to be an instructor here uh, in the future and so that's that's exciting as well because I think they have a little bit more of an insight of what they're getting themselves into. Um, so I think this is where like the little, the number comes at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to be an instructor, a volunteer, click here, call here, um, because it is, it is such a need. Uh, and one of the other things that I would say is super exciting is that going on this journey from moving our tech school from Fort Jackson to Maxwell, to Keesler, you know, all of those things have happened in the last, you know, five to ten years. We, we had a smaller instructor cadre uh, when, we, when we moved here. And so going from three instructors to this cost resource estimate has us grow up to seven uh, instructors. So that's, that's critical too, right? Now we've more than doubled the instructors. Um, so that's light at the end of the tunnel for our current instructors because uh, they see that help is on the way. Uh, I will say that it, just because the instructor is here doesn't mean that they're a full up uh, instructor yet. And so there is about a four to six months of, of getting them trained, qualified to, to be able to lead in the class today. And so if you saw in the, in the graduation video, uh, Sergeant Hawkins saying, hey, this was my first class from day one to day done that I got to be with the whole time as a um, full up instructor. That's exciting, right? Um, and so that's some of the journey that it takes to get here.